Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a review on the Superior Boxing Micro Ear Punch Mitts. So check it out. Hey guys, Carlo here. Today I'm doing a review on the Superior Boxing Micro Ear Punch Mitts. They come in this beautiful brown, black, and white colorway, which is Really one of my favorites in terms of just aesthetics. I love that old brown vintage look when it comes to some boxing equipment. These retail for 55 British pounds, which is the equivalent to about 70 US dollars, and they are sold as a pair. These are made of full top grain leather construction with a little bit of synthetic mesh on the back. And I believe that these are manufactured in Pakistan. Now, from a dimension standpoint, these are six and a half inches across and seven and a half inches vertically. They are pre-curved as well as have an air pocket in the middle to help absorb the shock of the punch. So it is a little bit more solid on the perimeter with an air pocket right there in the middle. You do have the superior boxing in white uh, that is written across. Rotating to the back of the glove, it does have superior boxing patch. It says choice of professionals, uh, cloth patch right here. And you also notice that these are handed. So you do have a left-handed as well as a right-handed mitt. Now from the, from the outside, they look identical when you're looking at them. The big difference is when you actually put your hand into the mitt. With the right-handed mitt, you'll notice that when you put your right hand into it, that the uh, finger, I guess you could call it finger channels or the little pockets that your finger sits into when it starts with your thumb, to your index, your middle ring, and then ultimately your pinky finger gets sh more shallow. So they're they're deeper because your finger is longer, and especially with your thumb. And then as it gets closer to your pinky finger, the channel shit, they, they sit a little bit more shallow. So if I were to put the right-handed mitt on my left hand, yes, I could technically still use it, but what you'll notice is now this little channel that your finger sits in is too shallow and it almost feels like my thumb and my index finger are touching each other a little bit. Where if I do it the correct way and put it on the right hand, now my thumb and my index finger are completely separated with that little channel, if that makes sense. So these are handed, right and left handed. So if you put them on and you notice that they feel a little bit odd or feel kind of weird, it's probably because you have the, them on the opposite hand. So do keep that in mind because aesthetically when you're looking at it from the outside, they pretty much look identical. So something I figured was worth mentioning. So you do have the white superior boxing that's written on this top of this hood. This is all leather as well. White piping stitched in. You also have that black right here that has kind of a tapered cut. Um, you do have that hood that covers with a little bit of a tricot synthetic liner over that. You also have that synthetic mesh and then at the very tip or the ends of your fingers, you can see that this is completely closed off. So your fingers are not exposed at all. You do have that hood that goes over that. The mesh is essentially to give yourself a little bit of breathability. And you also do have a very pronounced palm ball. So you can really grip on with your hand when you have your hands inside here. Obviously, if you're a boxing trainer, coach, teacher, you wanna be able to kind of grip onto that. And you also have that pre-curved uh, punch surface with that air pocket. So um, you're essentially being able to hold your mitt if you're, you know, holding it for somebody that has a lot of power. This is able to kind of absorb that shock of that punch. But the surface is also small enough to really work on precision. So it's not one of those larger big mitts that are more or less used for like single punches, work, really working on fundamentals, just that power jab or that straight right hand or that left hook. These are, to me, the type of mitt that would really shine with, for doing more re, re, uh, responsive pad work, more combination punching, you know, you're doing combination punching. And I know a lot of you guys have seen on social media, the guys doing the, the Mayweather style mitt work where, you know, they're just kind of going through it. This is the kind of mitt that you would want to use for that in terms of the style of mitt, uh, because it could take a lot of power shots, uh, even though it's not a larger style of mitt because of that air pocket. Uh, but you can also work on making your boxer slip, rolling under, and you don't have this huge cumbersome mitt. So I do like that about that. Um, in terms of the thickness of the mitt, I'd say it's about two inches in total thickness. The padding and the foam on here is very dense around the entire perimeter of the mitt. You also notice that it has layers at the, uh, laces at the bottom, excuse me, 
that closes off where the pad is inserted. And another big key feature is you also do have uh, this small little wrist pad that's made of leather as well. So that wrist pad gives you that wrist support uh, as, a, as a coach, as a trainer, so that you don't have this big gap in between this pad and your wrist. So essentially when you turn your wrist in, uh, oftentimes as a coach, they're gonna turn slightly in because they know the punch is coming in and it's going to kind of deflect the mitt backwards. So they're trying to keep it nice and solid because ultimately that shock of the punch is gonna travel up to your shoulders. And that's why a lot of trainers have uh, shoulder and, and arm and you know tennis elbow issues later down the road because they've been holding a miss for such a long time. And that's essentially that little pad does give a little bit of extra comfort and support uh, when you're holding it. But overall, using these mitts, you know, my, my coach, uh, Tommy Roberts, I've been training with him. He used these. I've used these with several other coaches as well. When I hit them, they feel great. Um, obviously, that also has a lot to do with the type of gloves you're using. Uh, but in terms of the actual shape, when you're looking at this target, you have that logo right in the middle. So that's kind of what you're aiming for when you're hitting these. Sometimes you have missed that have this big circle or they have a, like a cross here. You have that superior boxing logo. I mean, it's not a huge deal. Some people would say, okay, I like kind of like a little circle here. So it kind of gives me something to look at. I guess that's kind of debatable. Um, I just see the logo and I can tell where the middle is. So that's, that's where I'm aiming at. Um, but it also forces you because of the size being a little bit smaller for you to be more precise with your punches, especially if you're going faster with your combinations. If you're doing, you know, a one, two hook, two, and you throw that right hand, if you're a little bit off with this, you'll know it because you won't get that same cracking sound if you're not landing your punches right in the middle. If you're kind of hitting with like a glancing blow or if you're not turning over and really putting your shoulder into the shot, you'll notice that and you won't get that same pop. You'll get more of like a thud type sound if you guys know what I mean. So <clears throat> overall, I'm, I mean, really satisfied with these. My coaches say they love them. Um, also, one other thing to mention, I know those of you that have longer, uh, longer, hand, you know, longer fingers um, and, and thicker hands, for a, for a micro punch mitt, these are actually not bad in terms of the actual size of the hand compartment for somebody that maybe has larger hands. Um, you know, I've tried this with another boxing coach and he has definitely has bigger hands and he said he didn't find really any discomfort or didn't feel like it was too tight uh, for his hands. So overall, they've held up well. I've had these for a couple of months. Just take care of them. Obviously, the brunt of the wear and tear is going to come on the punch surface. Um, I just use a little bit of leather conditioner and clean them off. You can see there's a little bit of a mark right there, but I mean, that's just what's going to happen. The more you use them, the more they're going to wear out to wear items. It's not going to last. Uh, forever you just want them to last for a long time so uh, but overall very satisfied with these at the price point of seventy dollars it's definitely in a good sweet spot when it comes to some punching mitts that are made of full genuine leather that are comfortable that are the right size that have the features you're looking for wrist support pre-curved air pocket so it kind of combines all the good features into one mitt at a fair price so if you guys have any questions or comments you guys know what to do put them down below in the comments box i'll put the link in the description box where you can find the superior boxing micro ear punch mitts. I'll see you guys later. Peace.